in the One Piece universe, all the lady characters have their basically the three measurements. Uh, they they give life to the character, you know, and very important information for us fans. Ooh! Yeah! Woo Guys, we are back with another episode of unboxing, and this week we will be unboxing Freenie's Hidden Dissectable One Piece Series. Oh, series. We have a very, very special guest with us here to unbox this series with us. We have Monkey Pico Reviews! Yay! Second time back here at Money Jack's office. How are you feeling? It's great. Uh, it's good to be back. Uh, my name is Bruce. I'm from my channel, Monkey Figure Reviews, uh, where I review One Piece figures. And honestly, thanks for inviting me back. Great to have you here, man. Great to have you here, man. This time, right, Series 4, we are featuring a very special collection of individual, right? They are known as the Seven Warlords of the Sea, right? Shijibukai. Oh, that's the Japanese yeah, uh, Shijibukai. A, okay, okay. A... As usual, we have all seven variations packed for us. So this whole collection will feature a 6 plus 1 lineup. So we have six OG characters, as you guys can see here. Freenie's Hidden Dissectable One Piece Series 4 is now available on our website. Head over to Mighty Jack's website if you guys want to cop one tray or a box for yourself. This week, we'll be giving away one tray of Freenie's Hidden Dissectables One Piece Series 4. That's right. So keep watching the YouTube hands. video, right? You guys will find out how to win this towards the end of the video. This could be yours. Before we begin, remember to like this video, share this video with friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you guys will never miss out any other video that we upload. Okay, do it. let's start with the packaging first. Right, it's deep blue. All so, the it's the, so it's the pirate team. Oh, exactly yeah. right. And then if you look closely, right? Yes, yes, all the Johnny Rogers of the Warlords. All their crew, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Dofi, Law, got them all in. The tray, as usual, comes like a display case. So you guys can open it up here, like that, right? Yeah. And there you go, you have a tray. Right, let's take them out. Okay. Let's go, first one. Yeah! Start with the first unboxing. Which Warlord are we gonna get? Alright, let's go. Well, I think the ones for this series is the new lineup after mm, the mm. post time skip. So uh, we have like the latest iteration. I don't think it's the exhaustive list of all the yeah, yeah. warlords, are right? But I guess these are the most prominent ones. Very, very famous characters. And yeah, it's always been like a revolving door. It's not oh. a very safe mm. position. It's kind of like musical chess, right? Yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah. Ta da! What do you have? Buggy. Mine is Buggy. And mine is the Flamingo. The one that I'm looking forward to the most, Buggy. Whoa, for real? Yeah, the yeah. ultimate legend in One Piece, this guy. He is? He is. If you don't care about spoilers, right? He is basically, supposedly, a very weak guy in the story. But for some reason, he just continues to rise up the ring. When he became a Shijibukai, everyone was just very surprised as well. Okay. Man. Holy shit, this looks so good. So all the characters, of course, comes with a base as well. This is Buggy. Yes, let's fit that one. This is supposed to be showing that his body is not connected. Yeah, so his devil powers is that he can he can speed up his body. I forget what's the devil name. So basically, his, he attaches a cloak to Over make his head. body look larger. Super because big. he can speed up his head, his limbs. That's why I guess that's part of the design. Yeah, it's part of the design. Yeah, but I just like the pose so much. It really just captures his, you know, that shows manship. He has to fool his own people. <laughs> the people <laughs> under him. Yeah. I, I feel like I'm gonna say like everyone is my favorite warlord, but this guy to me is the best villain in the, in the whole story. Freaking evil dude. And he, this guy is flashy as Tough hell. Man. The way they design him, his shades, his color, his pink mink coat. It's like a you know like a mob boss to some extent. Yeah, yeah. He always has his shades on, his glasses. Have you seen it? Since he was a kid. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah, he always on. felt like he was meant to be king. His dad threw that away and since then his hatred just crafted his character. He has a brother though, right? Yes, yes. His brother is Corazon and he killed his own brother as well. And I think I think the, the, the amazing thing about him is that even in the anime, voice actor <coughs> does an incredible job. Brings out the character so much. If you read if you read the manga, you're not gonna get that. Okay. That's okay. your head, right? The yeah, voice, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the anime, they really bring this guy to life. He's wow. evil. He's really evil. He's really truly one of the evil characters in One Piece. Okay, next one, next one. No, no, no. Oh, what's yours? Mine is Mihawk. Mine is Kuma! Oh, this guy has a sword. Yes, separate. Yeah. So, here we have here Kuma! We Public service announcement. All of our Mighty Jack's toys are chipped. So, all you gotta do is look for the For Real sticker at the base, peel it off. Go to our MoneyJacks app, log into your account, and scan the toy so the toy will be registered under your name. It will appear in your Mighty Jacks vault. Okay, I have Kuma and you have Mihawk. Let's start with Mihawk, man. Like, Mihawk is so bad. Look at his sword. This is a, one of the most iconic characters in One Piece. 
right at the beginning of the story. Yeah, that was the right. That yeah, was the right right at the beginning, right. he just showed Zoro like because Zoro wanted to take over his title. The best swordsman. The, the best swordsman yeah, right. in the world. And um he sort of leveled this guy and realized that that's too far away. I gotta work hard for that. And there's basically there's yeah. levels to this lah. Yeah. Like showing that just with one small little dagger. Dagger, yeah. Like, it's not destroy you. Little dagger, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like just like a lot of the warlords here we have this in this series, a lot of them are still shrouded in mystery. We don't really truly know what is their complete backstory, goals, what their aims, where did they come from. But but I, I guess that's what makes the character work because there's there's that mythical yes. element behind them, yes. right? I think I think that's why a lot of us like Shijibukai. Yeah, okay. Because yeah, first yeah. of all their character design is amazing. Yes. And they're yes, all yes. top level powerful characters in one piece. And they don't have their own like personality, yes. no personalities, right? Yeah, exactly. And uh the story part, the mystery, everything is a whole package. So everyone's always so intrigued, always so drawn into these guys. guys yeah. This guy is he looks like the coolest guy in the lineup, I Full feel. Who like confidence or arrogance? I mean you can be when you're the, when you're the best swordsman in the world, right? And just like you know, if you look at the, the details on the eyes, that's like his iconic look. Oh yeah, like that's, that's why they call him his nickname is Hawkeye. And what I like is that this is actually his style. Like he swings them with both hands. Because it's so huge, yeah. right? Right. It's kind that's of like a Claymore style attack. And you like start sending flying slashes. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. And and you see his jawline is like perfect, man. Perfect. Ultimate chat. And then now we have the Kuma! Another guy shrouded in mystery. Honestly, at this point, we still have no idea like what happened to him exactly. We right. just know that he basically gave the rights for the government, the world to, use government to use his body as an experiment. What, and then they created a pacifista. Ah, uh, pacifista, yeah, basically like an army of like robots. Robots. Yeah. But I think the difference between like all the PX, Wibble, Wibble, and Zero is like, I think he holds a Bible, right? Shows that there's some sort of like him still left in there. Yeah, his correct. personality. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like him clinging on to his like humanity yeah. instead of being a full on cyborg. Uh. And of course, he also has his Daryl powers. Though. Of course, because he's a, like a almost to a complete cyborg, right? Mm -hmm. You can tell that his dissection is obviously cyborg ish. Reminds me of Frankie a little yes, bit. Very right? similar, mechanized. Wow, oh, actually his face kind of look a little bit. Ooh. Cool. The face scary. Yeah, yeah, like, like Ollie's scary, right? right. <laughs> looks, like, looks like Terminator. Yeah, but what's really cute about him is that he's reminiscent of a big grizzly bear. Yes. <laughs> and you got those ears. And, uh, <laughs> but this, look at this, like the design again just captures his, his essence. Uh, he's so, so menacing. But this he's kind of calm and chill and just. Yeah, I think that's what's scary about him. Oh, yeah, yeah. No yeah. one knows what is yeah. going on with this guy. And there we have Kuma. I think we missed out a few details just now. Kuma, but we have to revisit them as the whole collection. Okay. okay. Let's go on with the next two. Alright, ready? Let's go. Pretty heavy, okay. this one. Oh, I think I think I know who it is though. If it's heavy. <laughs> then I think I know mine. Who's mine? Yeah, if yours is light and mine is heavy. Yeah, mine is light. Ta -da! Law! Mine is Weevil. I need, I need a death tattoo here. <laughs> oh, so he's a lost end. Holy crap! Wow. Oh, it, this boy is dummy thick. Oh, yeah, uh, he's he's uh, similar to the one that White Beard uses. Ah, uh, so does Law's uh katana come separate as well? So good. Oh, Holy wow. crap! Look at that, man. I think this is the first time I'm seeing like a, a figure of Weevil. First Wait, time. Really? Yeah, they don't really make any. Just like Buggy, right? Yeah. Not a lot, right? Yeah. Because it's like actually we don't know much about him as well. We know he is like the new Shichibukai, mm. and then he says he is the son uh, yeah. of White Beard because his mom tells yeah, him that. Yeah, his mom right? tells him the uh, Bucking tells him that. No idea what is his story. Oh, even until now they haven't revealed it. Yeah. White Beard. Is there a bone or? Yeah. Which one? It's a task. No, it's oh. This is Weevil, the self-proclaimed Whitebeard Junior. Mm, son so of Whitebeard. Man, he's actually quite scary looking, right? Like a monster. Yeah, he's huge. But I mean, he has that proportion of, you know, like just chunky, big size guys. Menacing. And he's very strong in the story. Oh, really? Like, really very, very strong. No idea how strong he is, but apparently he just destroys everything in his path. So you won't really question. Yeah. I mean, like when he says that he's Whitebeard's son, like people don't really go and exactly. doubt him, right? Yeah. right? The Marines will be like, maybe it's true. Maybe you it's know, true, yeah. His destruction ability. And yeah. he's using the same weapon, ma. Yeah, the right. exact same weapon. Similar style, at least, to what mm -hmm. Whitebeard, mm -hmm. Whitebeard uses. You can just see all the details, like. The chain. And the chain. Oh, yeah. What's going on with all this like stitching together, all this scars ooh, going on? Ooh, ooh, ooh. The stitches. Oh wow, even even his jaw, I actually got his like jaw dissection now. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, so it's a little bit more it's like uncanny. Not really not really. Not very human, human like, like, yeah, 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 not a human So like. maybe there are some mysteries. Well you see, check out this. Jolly Rogers. So that's their <laughs> Jolly Reg Roger in the front of Betty. It has the tusk, like the just like him. It's the moustache. 
<laughs> beard, white beard. White, white beard, beard moustache. White beard. Look at that. Like even the hair, uh, which is actually actually the same colour as white beard's hair when white beard was young, yellow in colour. So Oh, so maybe maybe, maybe? 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 right, right. Alright, but hey, but this guy, this guy, this is the popular one, right? Of course his hand tattoo. Photo start. Death. So when he's doing this, he's kind of like in the motion of like activating his. Yeah, he's using his devil power, so it's like room. Whoa! Yeah, it's like and then so he will cast like a space where he can like yes. slice everything up. He has a heart shaped tattoo on his yeah. chest as well. He's he has a lot of tattoos a lot everywhere of around a lot his of hands, his chest. At the back of his coat, like Corazon. Corazon, yeah. yeah at the back, yeah. Image. A lot of basically believe that he had no cure whatsoever. The family, the, yeah. the disease that the family right there. And, and Corazon was like, you know what, I'm gonna try to save you from this. They found his terrible powers, and because of that fruit, he's able to sort of, you know, cure himself with it. And the pose, he's like in motion of summoning. Yeah, you can see his coat just like, you know, flying, right, right. flying just to see his motion. Man, oh! Like, even right now, just look at this six guy in front of you. We don't even need the, the rare one already, man. Just go buy a trade. Do the honors? Alright. Alright. Now for our ultra rare. Ultra rare! So uh Hancock fans, you gotta feel that you're lucky. Three, two, one. Hancock. I see the snake. <laughs> oh man, look at that! Oh. Salom! Look at the dissected body of the snake. Check oh it, wow, it. it has a like check it It's out. really like the uh, snake's anatomy, man. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes so cute. Yo. Yeah, I think we have to put the snake on. And then you put Hancock in between. Supported by the yep, the snake. Salom is in. Now for Hancock. You just lean it against? Yes. It seems like you just lean it, right? Yes. So the art of her dress towards the end, right, fits perfectly into Salom's like swirl. And she will fit in nicely. And she's like just a little bit leaning on the snake. Yeah, it's kind of like elevated yes. a little bit. Yeah. Check it out, guys. Her dress. Mm. I mean, of course, she's always she always wears those like, you know, the side cut things. Nice lids, nice lids. Yeah, super revealing. Showing a lot of skin. Very flashy. Yeah. Fan service. Fan service. Yes, 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 <laughs> definitely. She's known to be a very, very beautiful woman. Probably one of the most beautiful women in the One Piece universe, yeah. right? And then like when they sort of get, get enchanted by her beauty, she's able to just like freeze them into stone. Oh wow. Yeah. That's so a bit like a you know, Medusa, Medusa kind of feeling, yeah, yeah, okay. kind of reference. Okay. But her power don't work against <laughs> one character, right? Which is Luffy. Yeah, the, the love of her life. Yeah, that's why she's so obsessed with him. Yeah, like, yeah. Kind of like real life, like, yeah, right. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's not like a gag also, you know, because like everyone sins for her, except Luffy. So now she sins for Luffy. And yeah, I think this is like, this is one of her iconic poses, like just like this. You know, she's just like always like just showcasing her, her beauty, her, her stance. And sometimes when she's about attack also. Yeah. Um, it's, it's very interesting in that in the One Piece universe, all the lady characters have their, basically the three measurements. Uh. And I appreciate that about the writers because it's, it's a very nice touch that they, they give life to the character, you know. And very important information for us fans. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so there we have the entire series. Right, we started off oh with Buggy. The printing is very the crisp. Purple, the purple yeah. Is, yeah, it's beautiful, man. Very clean and he has a bandana right under his head. Yeah, yeah. The purple bandana, yeah. the polka dots. Uh, and the two tones of blue, man. Look at it. Yeah, look at it. And of course, you see his left hand is also dissected. Yeah, even up to his glove. Very neat detail. So you can see the difference between mm. the left hand and the right hand. Just now, I think you mentioned also Don Flamingo. Look at his hands. Yes. He's using the his... The pose. He's using his devil powers. as well, right? The string, string fruit. We will just... Looks like Evil. a total badass. Total badass, man. I just realized something. Whoa. Like, if you look at this part of his jaw, there's like a bit oh. of damage. Is it like a clip? Like yeah, a yeah, stitching? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. Some oh. sort of healing is, is, has gone on over here. Yeah, there's a little, little bit of crack on his jaw over here. Whoa, hey, even. Even Buggy has a stash on his scar. scar, on yeah. scar. We got a shout out to our 3D artists, our concept artists, and our designers as well, man. I want to shout out to everyone. You guys have included so much nice details inside this collection, man. Coming from a true blue One Piece fan. And there we have it! There we go guys. Freenies Hidden Dissectables One Piece series for the entire collection is here. We have the six OG characters and then we have the ultra rare one right in the center. For this episode, thank you guys for watching towards the end. Mm -hmm. Right, we will be giving away one full tray of Freenies Hidden Dissectables One Piece series four. All you gotta do is look out for the giveaway question at the end of the video. And also remember to subscribe to both Monkey Figure Reviews and right. Mighty Jacks on YouTube channel. This series is now available on our website. If you guys do want to purchase for yourself or for your friends, head over to MightyJacks.com.
I guess we're done. We're done. See you later. Thanks. Here's your chance to win a tray of Freeney Sidon Dissectables One Piece Series 4. Like this video, subscribe to both Monkey Figure Reviews and Mighty Jack's YouTube channel, and look out for the giveaway question in the video. Leave your answers down in the comment section below, but select our favourite answer and announce the winner in the comment section on the 6th October 9am Eastern Time. Check out our other videos on the Mighty Jack's YouTube channel as well. See you all next time!